In this video, I'm going to show you how to answer questions leveraging images and documents with Copilot Studio. So let's start with just an empty agent inside of Copilot Studio. And in this case, I've created one that's basically just an empty one. And all I've done is I've went in and I've uploaded into Knowledge. You can see here, I've uploaded the deck plans of a cruise ship from Holland America. And this is actually all of their deck plans that are available in this particular PDF document. Now, be aware that whenever you upload a file inside of Copilot Studio, you need to be aware that it's actually storing it inside a Dataverse. And as part of the storage of it inside a Dataverse, it will then vectorize it and chunk that particular file. And you'll notice that over here, you'll see a status, and you'll see this status is ready. Uh, it took a little while for this file, after I uploaded it, to actually be completely indexed and everything. But that's what's actually going on behind the scenes. And what Copilot Studio is doing is it's using Dataverse to be able to do the search uh, component of the search and summarization action of a typical knowledge or rag pattern type of scenario. So just be aware that you need to make sure that you give it the time to be able to do this. Now, once you've actually got your file uploaded to Dataverse, which by the way, is currently the only way to be able to have that file be searchable for the images inside of Copilot Studio. So just know this is the first place where this is gonna work. Now, what I want to take a look at is let's actually take a look at this particular file so that you can see what it looks like on the inside and kind of get a view of the images that are stored within it. So what you're going to see here is this is the actual file for the Holland America cruise ships that all the different deck plans for it. And you could use any of them, but just know that one of the good things is this has a lot of images and it has a lot of information stored in these images. And that's one of the reasons I chose this. And you'll see as we go in, you can zoom in and you can see a lot more information about what's on these particular deck plans. You can see things like where the where is the casino and things of this nature. Uh, and so what I wanted to do is we're going to focus in on the Rotterdam, which happens to be uh, one of my favorite ships inside of the Holland America uh, cruise line uh, ship list. But let's just take a look at what we can do now that we've uploaded this file and we've allowed it to go through and get indexed. Again, this is very new to Copilot Studio to be able to see this type of data and be able to answer questions over images and data such as this. So now that we're back over in Copilot Studio, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch back over to the overview here and just show that there's really nothing more that I've actually added into this. There's no additional topics or actions or anything. This is just a simple demo that we're going to use. So what I'm going to do is fire up the test canvas here and let's start asking some questions about, uh, about that Rotterdam ship. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask, what deck is the casino on the Rotterdam? And before I send this in, notice that I've got the orchestration turned on so that this way we can see this happen inside of the planner itself or the generative orchestration layer. And you'll see here that you're going to see the activity map go in. You're going to see that it's going to go out, find the knowledge source, and it's going to answer the question on which particular deck is the casino. And this is actually true. This is where that is. Now, keep in mind that because we are using generative orchestration, it means that we can continue to ask questions without having to restate the context about what we're talking about. So if I say, how do you get to the sports a sport court from there, it's going to understand I'm talking about on the Rotterdam and from the casino. And you'll see it be able to go in and look at this and give you some ideas of how to be able to do that. And you'll see that it's actually telling me that it's on one of the lower decks. So I've got to walk up, uh, walk up the stairs or take the elevator to, to the sport deck, which is one of the highest decks on the ship. So, and, and again, that is actually somewhat true. Uh, there is the fact that because there's nothing in the deck plans that actually explain um, all the different deck layouts, that's one of the reasons that I run into a problem. But needless to say, 
pretty much uh, makes sense. And you notice that on the left, as I ask additional questions, like what is the closest bar to the sea view pool? What's gonna happen is I don't have to talk about the fact that I'm just still talking about the Rotterdam. What you're gonna see is because we're just adding to this activity map. So you can see here that it's asking, uh, getting an answer to this question, and it's absolutely able to be able to figure that out. Now, I can also ask questions because there's a legend on this, I can ask questions like, is room VC6154 a handicapped accessible room? And again, we understand the context that we're talking about the Rotterdam. We understand what that particular room and find it on the actual deck plans and be able to then come back and be able to provide this. And then I could say some things uh, as well. I could say, what deck is that room on? And you're going to see that it's going to keep that context. And you can just see that the activity just keeps, uh, activity map keeps building here to be able to get me these answers and provide this. So when we think about wayfinding and being able to do this, whether it's a deck of a cruise ship or if it happens to be the floor plans of a mall or of an office building and things of this nature, this is really opening the door up as we start opening up the ability to use image support. And again, I just want to reiterate that in Copilot Studio, currently today, through the knowledge sources that are available, you've got many different knowledge sources. You've got public websites, SharePoint, Dataverse, all of these different ones. Right now, the only ones that will support image upload at the, at the recording of this video is if you actually upload the file right here by clicking browse and being able to go in and pick a file. So I hope this video was super helpful for you guys and just stay tuned uh, for more educational videos like this. You can always like and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more like this. And as always, you can try Copilot Studio by going to aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio.